the hover telemark. This figure begins facing diagonal wall, slow, quick, quick, and finishes pointing diagonal center. We'll try that again. And this figure begins facing diagonal wall, slow, quick, quick, and finishes pointing diagonal center. And now for the man's timing and alignments. We begin this figure facing diagonal wall, slow, quick, quick, and we finish pointing diagonal center. And now for the man's foot positions. We have left foot forward, right foot to the side, left foot brushes to right foot, left foot to the side and slightly forward. And now from a different angle, we have left foot forward, right foot to the side, left foot brushes to right foot, left foot to the side and slightly forward. And now for the footwork. We have heel toe, toe of right foot, inside edge of toe of left foot, toe heel. And now ladies, for your timing and alignment. This figure commences backing diagonal wall, slow, quick, quick, and finishes backing diagonal center. And now for the foot positions. Right foot back, left foot to the side, right foot brushes towards left foot, right foot to the side and slightly back. And now from a different angle. Right foot back, left foot to the side, right foot brushes towards left foot, right foot to the side and slightly back. And now ladies for your footwork. Toe heel, toe of left foot, then inside edge of toe of right foot brushing, toe heel of right foot. And now for the technique in this figure. So gentlemen, I want you to stand on your right foot with your left foot free. I want you to compress through your right shoulder, hip and foot. You're gonna use a range of motion, sending the lady to the inside of turn. You're gonna take your head, left shoulder, hip and foot, slightly downward, and you're gonna stretch your abdominal muscles through a strong diagonal to the left. This will enable you to turn the lady to the inside of turn and allow the right leg to go out into position for your brushing action. So I'd like to demonstrate that with Heather. I'm gonna back the camera. So I rotate through my right leg and hip, connect the shoulder down, and that produces my swinging motion with my right side swinging out ahead of me. Now from this position, all we do is just simply let the angle take us out, and then as you land on your left foot, I want you to use a small range of motion to just simply collect underneath the body. So I'll demonstrate that with Heather. We have slow, quick, quick. And then we just simply recover our, our sway. And now ladies, for your technique. So when we start off, just a very, very small uh, range of motion through the hip, allowing the left hip to feel like it's releasing back, which then in turn will dance the right side positively back to your partner. We're going to land on the right leg, anchor the right shoulder, and then simply from this position, feel like the right hip is moving across the inside of the right foot. That will allow the hip to swing, and for you ladies to feel that your body is being picked up through a strong diagonal here. Now, one thing I want you to always remember is anytime you're traveling backwards, never turn your shoulders. Never ever turn the upper body on a backward action for two reasons. You're on the inside of turn, and secondly, it encourages to want to cross central lines. So whenever the man is rotating and you start to follow, it actually pulls the spine spines backwards away from one another. So whenever you're traveling backwards and you're on the inside of turn, ladies, your body is going through this motion, not a rotary motion. Okay, so we're going to connect the shoulder down, allow the weight to connect into that standing leg, and then as we swing, simply feel very, very positively left, lengthen the left side, keep the elbows in front of the body, stomach very, very strongly picked up, back to the spine, and then simply dissolve the hips as we land into the standing leg, which is the right foot.